hello friends uh, so we have been seeing the economic survey series and uh, i also thought of making this important geographical location so many of you had asked uh, what are the important biospheres or how do you how to study this important biosphere uh, and uh, national park tiger reserve ramsar sites important uh, species as well because what important species one has to learn it's a vast syllabus i cannot say in a single message as to this is the species which we have to see rather we have to look at the whole perspective of how these national parks are where it is and how it is connected to the previous year question and accordingly we should see the species species in a stand alone if we are able, we are going to see we will always forget it so we are going to see important so how this will work is that i will come with this northeast region so from northeast region we will move towards this western region so this is how in this video we will look at this so from uh, so we are going to basically cover the himalayas so himalayas and uh, the national parks biosphere reserves important species surrounding is what we will see in this video so first we will look at the basic so first is this uh, see in uh, when we are talking about uh, important species usually upac concentrates on what means the river so what river is flowing in which direction where it is flowing upac always concentrates on that and in that one of the most important river is this brahmaputra please you please note this down uh, before going into the preliminary hall you please check this the following things there was already a previous year question once there was a previous year question asking what are the tributaries or what are the rivers joining brahmaputra uh, in arunachal pradesh so see look at this dibang lohit so first two this is the rivers which are joining in uh, this brahmaputra but uh, i want you to note two other things to not two three suban siri okay suban siri dan siri the dan siri is here suban siri is here dan siri is here somewhere here you will find all this you know kaziranga uh, kaziranga national park you will also find the majuli uh, islands these this is a very important area so dan siri you have to look at it but uh, one more important is manas uh, see suban uh, suban siri suban siri is here dan siri manas and this dibang and lohit is a very important thing that you should look at but uh, we should not look at this in an uh, you know separate way because they are connected to national parks and that is what you should also check in national parks if you see I, as i told you we are going to come in this uh, uh, from northeast to this direction of west is what i said in northeast uh, this biosphere reserve see always remember this start with biosphere see don't start with wildlife sanctuary or national park or something like that start with biosphere reserve then national park then tiger reserve so go in this sequence because the, the biosphere reserve is a larger context so on the larger from larger context go into the smaller things now if you see this dibang see this dibang only we saw right dibang river see look at this the tributary the dibang river is the uh, river which is joining brahmaputra but uh, you have one national park which is called as the dibang or uh, what is that dibang uh, so dibang so dibang national park is one and uh, see I, as i told you uh, we are going to go in this northeast direction clockwise we are going to go and we are going to go to the west so in this the second most important thing is this namdapa not the second most very important thing it is one of the largest national parks in india okay one of the largest i think in our largest national park uh, so this always has been asked where it is located see it is in arunachal pradesh okay why well, it is in arunachal pradesh see the source that i am going to use for this uh, conversation is basically wikipedia environment wikipedia da for uh, for me it will be uh, you know uh, it will be very nice things and images will be there so it is easier for me to understand so environment so look at it namdapa is in arunachal pradesh this is dibang this is also in arunachal pradesh 
and uh, one more see namdaba why it is important all already a previous year question but one more important fact is there in namdaba we will come to that but before going into this mauling national park uh, this is also somewhere uh, in arunachal pradesh this is a recent national park added so you have to please check it and they have not asked this in uh, previous year uh, any question this too has been asked so now you can look at this and uh, why this namdaba is important is that you have this critically endangered species very important critical this is critical namdaba flying squirrel see there is a squirrel you know uh, if you see evolution evolution la if you see uh, this mammals so we would have gone or we are mammals and we would have come from what is called as primates primates are basically uh, this monkeys and apes and things but ana before that rodents okay before primates rodents rodents na rats that is why rats they use in many of the experiments before rodents you had squirrels so this is the sequence of evolution which had come but it is not a very linear squirrels rodents not not like that evolution is a compli complicated factor but ana the point is that it comes with this way and uh, in squirrel after squirrel this flying squirrel was a very important species which gave rise to this lineage of primates and in this flying squirrel is present in namdaba see its name itself is namdaba flying squirrel is present in many other national parks but namdaba flying squirrel is actually critically endangered see look at this this is also very very important critically endangered okay well. so this is something which you should note species in while uh, as i told you while noting species you should not read it separately reading uh, species separately is not a, a very good uh, thing you know so you have to uh, club it along with some national park and uh, tiger reserve and that is how you should uh, learn it and as i told you we are going to go in this clockwise direction towards this himalayas to the westerns okay western ghats sorry uh, western himalayas in that this kamlang see look at this kamlang tiger reserve it's here somewhere near to namdaba right see somewhere near to namdaba somewhere this is dibang this is lohit right this is lohit river it is somewhere near this this kamlang is the 50th and one more important thing is that it is the 50th tiger reserve in india Okay, like Mauling, you know Mauling, which I said, which was very recently. Uh, this Mauling National Park is very recent. Similarly, this part, this Kamlang, is a very important tiger reserve, which is fiftieth tiger reserve. And as I told you, it's very closer to Namdapa. Look at this Namdapa uh, or uh, tiger reserve, and it is also one more factor is and Arunachal Pradesh. So they may say that Kamlang is in Assam. No, Kamlang is in. uh you know arunachal pradesh the next is this uh, so one more one more important species is red panda okay this is red panda okay one more important species actually it is uh, uh, vulnerable this red panda okay actually endangered it is endangered it is it is in this eastern ghats which we are specifying you know this is somewhere in this eastern ghats uh in the in the in the region of all these regions you know all the regions of northeastern region this red panda is there so here and southeast asia southeast asia and china china is the place where you will know that panda exists uh, you know uh, or originated but now you should know that red panda exists in northeast seriya yeah. so this is what is the one of the important thing next species next very important species is this pygmy hawk it's a small pig a small pig uh, very very threatened okay endangered actually it is critically endangered i think but uh, wikipedia is giving endangered let us assume that uh, so see red panda is also endangered this is also endangered this is in northeast this pygmy hawk is also endangered they have given but uh, i have seen that it is critically endangered but let us see what is the meaning 
பட் ஆனா திஸ் பிக்னி ஹாக் இஸ் வெரி வெரி கிரிட்டிக்கல் அண்ட் கொஸ்டின் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின் வேர் இட் இஸ் சிச்சுவேட்டட் சி வேர் இட் இஸ் சிச்சுவேட்டட் இஃப் யூ சி இட் இஸ் சிச்சுவேட்டட் சம்வேர் அரவுண்ட் ஹியர் பிக்னி ஹாக் வில் பி சம்வேர் அரவுண்ட் ஹியர் பிக்னி ஹாக் uh but uh, as i told you, you we were looking at here but uh, why i have come here the, because there is a, a manas national park here and uh, oran national park somewhere next so this is the place you will find pygmy hawk uh one more important species wild water buffalo okay wow. it is endangered you should look at it it is endangered and the distribution is in the northeastern region so if you uh, wild water buffalo if you see the distribution is not uh, you know see all throughout india no it's actually in the northeastern region wild water buffalo a small population also exists in central india but ana the predominant things is in northeast okay ma so three species not three i think four flying squirrel critically endangered red panda i think endangered plus uh, you check it endangered red panda is also endangered pygmy hog as i told you is a pig small pig endangered water buffalo is very important in the northeastern region that is also that is also endangered padukonga okay so now next so as i told you why we were looking at this we were looking at uh, you know national parks in this zone now we have to come here okay now we are going to come Uh, to this uh, central assam or or we are going to come inside assam till now we are looking at arunachal pradesh now we are going to look at what are the national parks in assam in assam this is the point dibru shika you look at it okay there was a dibong see biosphere as i told you starting with biosphere reserve is the key factor there was a dibong okay wow. but ana assam la dibru shika seriya dibru shika look at this assam and this tinsukia this area itself is very very important this tinsukia is also where you will find petroleum you know in uh, geography if you look at it geography option or ncert you look at it where we are going to find petroleum or the tertiary petroleum you will find in northeast in this tinsukia is a very important place but ana for us now what you have to look at is you have to look at the dibru shuka national park it's here right so it's somewhere you know see all this dibru dibru shuka namdapa kamlang all that is you know very close next to dibru shuka is dihang patkai there is a patkai you know patkai peak is there here okay it is in assam see look at it dibru shuka and patkai location is in assam where it is very closely now very part uh, dibru shuka patkai next is you know next this everyone would know this everyone of us would know is kasiranga national park kasiranga is in you know south of brahmaputra so look at how it is coming so we are going to come this way kamlang all of them see all are they, all of them why they have a connectivity na they are merely forests okay forests have a continuity forest do not have land boundaries you know see they cannot be uh, confined to one particular state forest will be there in one particular state and another continuous in another state so you will have a kaziranga see you will have a uh, you know dihang patkai in assam kaziranga is famous for one horned rhinoceros so it is also endangered correct so this one horned rhinoceros was a previous year question several times and see it's not uh, one horned rhinoceros there are many other species of rhinoceros there is java so bali sumatra that is indonesia you will have three islands you will have you will have three species of uh, rhinoceros that is how evolution operates you know each island is separate each of them has a separate species but bali i think bali rhino has gone uh, i think extinct uh, last year or the year before last one last uh, rhino was there that also extinct now in india now we have this rhino project and all hence we are protecting rhinoceros hence this is very very important for our preliminary examination uh, and in africa also one one species is there as i told you five species so java sumatra bali 
India, Africa, you will have five species. In this, see, look at it in Arunachal Pradesh. One uh, I did not uh, discuss was Pake Tigerism. Okay, Pakui, or it will be called as it's in Arunachal Pradesh. Pakui, something like this, you know. See, this area is the Tawang area. Okay, yeah, Tawang area. This is the area where China's problem, uh, we, ex we have this problem in this area. Tha. So, this is uh, something which they keep asking regularly. If there is a dispute between India and China, they always go for some uh, geographical location. Pakui is the place. So, see, look at this. They are saying Pake or Pakui Reserve. So, this is one thing which you should know. So, because I did not cover in that previous slide, I am covering here in Arunachal Pradesh. Next is ne ne uh, Oran National Park. See, Kaziranga is down. Chariya, Kazi, Brahmaputra is coming. If you look at this, Brahmaputra is coming uh, like this. So, it is coming like this. So, it will be coming here. So, you will have Lohit uh, and, uh, you know, uh, sorry, Dibang and Lohit. Dibang and Lohit connecting. You will have different, different uh, 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 Dibang na uh, National Park, Namdapa National Park, Kamlang National Park. Then you will have this, in this Tinsukia, you will have Dibruga. And then you will have this, uh, you know, Kaziranga. Then one horn rhinoceros, one other place, Orang. Okay, Orang. If you look at this Orang National Park, also a uh, question. But uh, one thing we see, before coming in this direction, we will go to Manipur. Because Manipur, all and uh, you might be knowing Manipur, there is a lot of problem which is happening right now. But that is a political problem. But uh, what we have to know is, this is Loktak Lake. This is Manipur. This is what is called as Kabul Lemjao National Park. This is in Manipur. Please note this down. Kabul Lemjao. Kabul Lemjao National Park in the Loktak Lake. This is the lake. So you can see the lake also. You can just see the lake. This is the lake. In that lake, it is there. In that lake, it, this national park is there. This is the only floating national park in the world. See, if you look at it, this Kabul Lemjao National Park is on this Loktak Lake, which is the only floating national park in the world. And it has one endangered species called as Sanghai deer. This is also endangered. See, look at this. Uh, maybe the previous slide. This is also endangered. Sanghai deer. Very important. See, look at this. So, it is also endangered. And that is what we have to know. Okay, well, That is what we have to know. Next, we will go to this. After this Kaibul Lamjao, we will look at, uh, as see, more. Uh, so, we will go for more Assam and uh, same. So, we are coming here. This way, I am coming in this clockwise direction uh, to the uh, place, you know. So, in this uh, Nameri National Park. See, look at this. You have also Pake, right? See, Pake is here. Baranga? Pake is somewhere here. And you also have what is called as Nameri National Park Tiger Reserve. So, this area is itself very important. But it is in, uh, you know, see, Assam. So, somewhere close, Assam border. Da. Assam border, la, Pake is in the top. Okay, Pake is in uh, Arunachal Pradesh. You will have this Nameri a little lower. Okay. But one more one more important national park is the Sesa Orchid Sanctuary, or not national park, sorry, wildlife sanctuary. The Sesa is next to this Pake. Okay. Sesa is, see, looks, Pake is somewhere here. Okay. Sesa is next to this Pake. Why I am uh, asking this uh, to know that orchid? Na? Once there was a previous year question where they gave four state. We have four states from uh, northwest of Himalayas to the uh, northeast. In that, Arunachal Pradesh was one state and that was the answer. Have, they just gave, where do you find orchids? This was the question. But Anna, look at this. When we know that there is a uh, Sesa orchid sanctuary in, uh, you know, orchid sanctuary in Arunachal Pradesh, we should be able to make the uh, assumption or the logical conclusion that you will have orchids in Arunachal Pradesh. Chariya? So, that is what you should know. Next. So, we will go to the again. See, that is the point. 
In this, as I told you, this Dibang and Lohit is very, very important. Next is Suban Siri is important. Dan Siri is important. And then Manas is very, very important. Tista has already, I think, 2000... Uh, Tista 2021 question, I think. So, Tista, they've asked it. Tista, whether it is directly going to uh, Ganga or something like that, that was the question, but the, that was a wrong statement. But uh, now you focus on Manas, Dansiri, Subansiri, Lohit and Dibang. Very, very important. You please focus on that this time. Uh, in this, as I told you, the other national parks are very, very, uh, very, very important uh, national parks are Manas National Park. And this Manas, as you uh, remember, Manas is the national park. Why? Because Manas River flows like this. See, look at this. Manas River is here. This is where this Manas National Park is. And this is where I would have spoke about what is called as pygmy hog. Right now, pygmy hog, the endangered species, or I thought critically endangered. Check it. Endangered in the Wikipedia, it is there. Endangered means okay. Da. Okay, well, so look at that if it is endangered. Next important is, see, Raimona National Park. This is a very recent national park. See, look at this 2021. Raimona, see, from that, you know, see, we have come from this uh, direction. We have come till Manas. Raimona is somewhere here. This Raimona uh, has not been asked because it is a recent national park. So, you should know this. Okay, you should know what is where is Raimona National Park. One other thing is that in the in this species which we were discussing, we were discussing pygmy hog, we were discussing other species, you know, water buffalo, uh, red panda. In this also look at clouded leopard. See, this time, uh, this time there is a one, you know, tiger census which happened. And uh, there was Kuno National Park reintroduction of cheetah. So, this cat family becomes very, very important. So, cat family in that, see, uh, you will have all in India, the cat family uh, members, you should look at it. One of the cat family members is clouded leopard. Clouded leopard is not endangered. It is actually vulnerable, but uh, threatened. Though. So, this is threatened. Where it is? Look at it. This is the distribution of clouded leopard. Okay, well, clouded leopard is not in only India. The point that you should notice not only in India. Okay, well, because there was a question on rhino being only in India, whether it is true or not, uh, Asiatic lion being only in India, whether this is true or not, only this statement was correct. You know, So other species, if you see, they will have this transboundary movement, including this clouded leopard, which I, as I told you, India's uh, there are in cat family, India, there are only four or five species are there. Okay, well, in this clouded leopard, in tiger is there, lion is there, uh, cheetah now they have introduced. So, one more is, one more is snow leopard is there. Okay, well, snow leopard. Snow leopard is also from Himalayas to the Central Asia. It will be on the Himalayan, you know, Alpine area. This is also here in India. Tiger is, is here. And one more is clouded leopard. Sharia, we don't have jaguar. So, very important. Jaguar car we have, but jaguar we don't have. But next is, uh, as I told you, so we have come, so we have come in this direction. In this direction, the next important is, uh, look at this Kanjanjanga National Park. Where it is? It is in Sikkim. See, look at the position. It's in Sikkim. Kanjanjanga National Park, very, uh, very recently, I think it was asked as a question. Uh, I think it was asked as a question, but if you uh, see, it is a mixed world heritage site also. And it is only mixed, mixed na, both it is significant for cultural and natural. Usually UNESCO site will have this cultural or natural feature, but this is a mixed heritage site. Only one mixed heritage site in India, which is Kanjanjanga. Yeah, Kanjanjaga is very, very important peak as well. So, you should know. The next important uh, thing that you should note is Nokrek. This was a 2022 question. So, that is why I, I do not know whether they are going to go for this question this time. But Anna, this is a 2022 question. You can check that. 
you will have knock rake as 2022 question. Where is this knock rake? Usually in the question paper, it was given as knock rake is present in Sikkim. Kanjanjanga is present in Sikkim. Knock rake is present here. This is, you know, Garo. See here, West Garo Hills. Okay, it's in West Garo Hills. They gave it as Sikkim. Sikkim la Kanjanjanga is there. Sorry, yeah, it's not uh, here. So now you should know this. Uh, so and if here also, if you see, you will have one uh, one important species which I wanted to mention. Uh, you will have this species here. So just a moment. So you will have this Haluk gibbon. Okay, well, this Nokrek area. You will have this. Uh, uh, see, there is also one Bal Park, Bal Pakram National Park here. So, so no crack, ball background, okay, no, no crack, na, na, no crack, okay, in the Malayalam, you will know, right? No crack, na, no crack, no crack, na, na, park, park, na, na, ball, park, all the, na, okay, so you should know this. So, here in no crack, you will have ball, park, so okay, yeah, in that, hello, gibbon is there. So, younger in the ball, park, you in the Marathal in the ball, park, okay, so in the, in the sense, learn the, you should know that this is this is the only primate in India. See, we don't have, uh, you know, we don't have gibbon. Uh, sorry, we don't have gib Yes, we don't have gibbon. We don't have uh, chimpanzee. We don't have, uh, you know, gorilla. And we don't have orangutan also. Orangutan also. No major primate we have in India. We have this only gibbon. Only one species of gibbon, which is haluk gibbon. Which is where na Balpak Rangu. Okay, so not in the, the No Creek National Park and things in the northeastern region. Uh, so this is a very important species with that you should know. Next, as I told you, we are going to come in this direction of uh, from the northeast to the northwest. In that uh, Sundarbans is very, uh, you would know that everyone would know the Sundarbans mangrove forest uh, for which you will have so many questions. So you should know the Sundarban. Uh, which is there in this uh, Gangetic, uh, you know, Delta. That is very, uh, uh, everyone would know. And uh, you please note it down. Very important mangrove reserve, ma mangrove forest is highest in this place. But why I wanted to keep this was Valmiki National Park. Check this. Valmiki National Park in the northwestern region of uh, Bihar. Valmiki National Park in the northwestern region of Bihar. This is the only national park. Only national park in Bihar. So yeah, Valmiki Tiger Reserve. Actually, it is a tiger reserve. Uh, so you will have only thing here is, uh, you know, one more, uh, I think one more thing is there. Somewhere surrounding here, uh, you will have one more, some Gangetic, uh, you know, Gangetic dolphin thing. Maybe in the Uttar Pradesh. So we have come from, uh, you know, northeast to As uh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam. Uh, then we have come to Meghalaya, then Sikkim, then we have come to what is called as uh, Bihar, which is called as the Valmiki National Park. Then in uh, Jharkhand, we will go a little bit down. So we will finish off Jharkhand also. In Jharkhand also, Palamu, this is, I think people will know. Some This is related to the coal reserves and things. And this Palamu Tiger Reserve is, a, the, you know, one of the uh, significant here. But I wanted to say Betla. Yeah, Betla is here, Palamu is here. So Betla and Palamu uh, very uh, closely related to each other. And you will have cold reserves, lots of cold reserves. This is the, in geography you will learn, uh, you will see this. This is the area where you will find a lot of cold reserves. This whole area you will find as cold reserves. Okay. And that is where this Palamu Tiger Reserve is. So if you want to, in mains you can write, your okay, cold reserves are here. Uh, and you will have national parks here. So you will have this GS paper 4. Uh, you will have whether environment or development. Development na cold reserves, you know. Uh, environment or national power protection. For that, you can give this as an example. So people used to think, why should we read all this means? In main answer, you can talk about a lot of things for elucidation, enumeration and things like that. You will get a higher score. Sharia? So next is uh, 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 see uh, Balmiki, then you will have Betla, then we will go to, so as I told you, Northwest. 
in this namdapa sorry not namdapa nanda devi three things were asked okay this time 2022 nokrek okay va they asked nokrek nanda devi uh, nanda devi and namcha barwa okay this three only they asked nokrek nanda devi namcha barwa they wanted to equate but here nanda devi see that is why i said nanda devi valley of flowers national park is here in uttarakhand and uh, this is a bio you know important biosphere reserve important peak as well the the if we do not learn this and go to prelims hall we are definitely not going to get that higher score required for indian forest service or something like that you may at least clear the preliminary cut off but the forest service cut off la if you know these place and it is very interesting see uh, valley of national park there uh, sorry valley of flowers national park it was already asked but it is nanda devi nanda devi is here okay va carbet is here so carbet is here so carbet tiger reserve nanda devi is above carbet tiger reserve and you should know that you should know that there was a question they asked ganga passes through carbet no ganga is passing through this way okay va? but uh, the next so subsequently as i told you we are going to go from northeast to northwest in this hemis national park okay well, this time this area has been a problematic area correct huh? because of china's intrusion in this area uh, so they are not going to ask where did china intrude but they may ask these things hemis national park in ladakh this is the largest national park uh, in india okay well, this is the largest national park in india hemis national park see look at that and uh, the next important uh, thing that you should know as we come in the northeast to northwestern direction is this dachigam national park okay in dachigam you will find what is called as this kashmir stag okay hangul uh, or uh, one more name is there so it is actually you know hangul i think hangul kashmir stag seriya yeah, it is critically endangered critically endangered the species which is present in this dachigam national park closer to srinagar is actually critically endangered so in you see why do we learn this if you see in gs paper 3 uh, or say, gs paper 2 okay well. so if in gs paper 2 you can look at this in this direction as well when we are talking about gs paper 3 internal security okay well. internal security when we are talking about see when you learn this internal security when you are talking about it you can talk about uh, you know extremism extremism in this area because of that apspa is there and this is critically endangering the species here you know not because of this but because of this there is a consequence that you cannot think about protection rather think protection of animals rather you should think about protection of uh, protection against terrorism you know so you will can relate many things so dachigam national park you can mark next or important is dachigam is here and you are having what is called as the uh, you know kistwar so kistwar national park here so that is how you should uh, you know check all these things and uh, very important you know one one thing you should check it okay one one thing when you check it it will be there so kistwar is very very important next is uh, we'll go to uh, that, that is what sequence we have come from northwest himalayas then we are coming to aravallis okay aravalli range when we come you have to check these very important uh, kiyoli see this is also kiyoledio gana national park so kiyoledio okay kiyoledio something like that so it is a national park see look at this it is in this place rajasthan it is in this place you have this pelican and uh, see when we look at this this was asked pelican was asked whether it was a bird or a fish or, a, or, or one question mashir there was a question mashir uh, golden mashir was the answer fish they asked for and in that which is not a uh, bird they asked but anand you had this pelican as an answer priya pelican na you check this this is the pelican okay so next so uh, the next thing you will check it so this is kiyoledio then desert national park okay desert national park is uh, this also has been asked as a question 
UPSC has asked this question. This is Desert National Park outside. Uh, and uh, you should, and I think uh, one bird is there. I forgot the name of the bird. It is actually critically endangered. Uh, you can, so if, see, if you, if you uh, remember, you can put it, see, I forgot the name. It's actually in news. Okay? It's in news. Uh, and that bird is critically endangered because of the, uh, you know, uh, large wires and transformers in this zone. Supreme Court has given a direction for protection of the bird. So you should look at it. Sharia. Now come to this. Uh, so this is the basics of all these uh, things. I think this will be enough. Uh, maybe one more, two more things. Okay, Ratambor is there. Okay, Ratambor is there. Sariska. Sariska is here. Ratambor is here. Okay, Saris, Ratambor is here. Sariska is there. Ratambor is actually covered Banas above Chambal below. Okay, Banas river above it is going in this direction. If you see, you closely watch that. Two rivers will be there and they will have this, uh, you know, sub, uh, sorry, convergence. Two rivers will, Banas will be somewhere here and you will have this uh, here. And you had this Gandhi Sagar last time asked. Gandhi Sagar is here. Yeah, this region is very, very important. Ratambor and if you uh, check that, the Sariska will be here. And if you check that, two rivers, Banas and, uh, you know, Chambal is here. I hope uh, this, I uh, maybe I, if uh, this, this is useful, uh, please do put your comments. Maybe I'll make more such videos uh, in this fashion. In this last moment, uh, however uh, small the contribution uh, may be, I'll try to make as much as possible. Thank you all.